Hey guys, it's Cassie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my 2020 planner. Um, this is a happy planner and I have Franken planned um, this planner. So I started out with this cover is from the Planner Babe, um, one of the Planner Babe planners. And I just loved the stripes on, that were on the inside of the planner. So the cover is actually this purple one with the dots, but I just switched and flipped the front cover to be these stripes. I don't know, it's, the stripes are just so happy and I just love them. So, and then I also have gold discs as well. So this is my cover page. This is from the Planner Babe planner that I have and I am just this the colors are just so bright and happy I love it and so the next few pages so the next few pages are my year to glance for 2020 and 2021 I can't believe that I'm saying 2021 it's crazy to me I don't know but I love the colors of this Setup. I love the discs on the bottom. It's just, it's just beautiful. And then the next thing that I have are these year at a glance pages as well. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for um, the setup or what this is going to be for. Um, this is kind of still a work in progress. Um, and I haven't fully figured out what I'm going to do with this. I mean, not everything I feel like has to be completely figured out um, at the start of the year. I really, truly believe that your planner should grow and evolve with you. And if you don't know what you're going to do for, with something, it's totally fine. So I've got the year to glance. And then the thing that I have next. So here is the coming up in January page. I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I don't know if I really need it. I really don't have like things that are happening in January, like special things. So I think this just might be blank for January at least. Um, and then the next, the thing that I have next over here are the sticky notes from the pa Planner Babe collection. And I love like this one. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Um, I like having sticky notes in my planner that I can just jot like a quick list for, you know, stick in appointment, stuff like that. Um, and especially for pre-planning. So here is the tab that is going to go on the week when I film after I film my plan with me for the first week of January. And this is from the Glam Girl dashboard set. And it says, why fit in when you were born to stand out? And I just liked these dashboards specifically. And I purchased these dashboards before I knew about the Planner Babe. But I liked these because, especially like this little one, it's like it's pretty neutral it's blue and the polka dots and it wasn't super in like in your face about it um so then here's january and i already filmed my monthly video but here's a sneak peek but um in january i'm going to try to use either planner kate like add-ons like these these labels like we're from add-on sheets for the monthly or i'm going to use um Simply Gilded Washi in conjunction with my Planner Kate add-ons or other stickers or leftovers or something like that. I'm trying hard to like use stuff up in the month or in the year um, 2020. So that's the goal at least. So then here is the first full week of January. I am going to use Planner Kate's New Year's Eve 2020 kit. I'm super excited. And the reason that I chose... Um, to use Planner Babe. I was actually going to keep using my Wild and Free weekly, um, weekly, so vertical layout as well, but I love the black with the little pops of color. And so the color is, 
it'll be fine. Like I can cover it with washi or I don't need to cover it at all or however. But the color that is here is very easily covered up if I wanted to. Um, I'm probably not going to cover it up. Really doesn't matter that much to me. Um, and then over here we've got the calendar that's um, in like a yellow box that a full box will fit just perfectly or a little bit of white out in a full box it'll be just fine so but I loved how neutral the rest of it was and I'm really excited to to actually plan using my planner Kate new format kits um, that's gonna be the next video that I film and I'm just really excited so here's this weekly and so this is what it looks like I mean, it, it doesn't change at all. And then we get to February, and here's this divider. And I love the purple foil that's in this planner. It's gorgeous. And again, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use this monthly page for. In February, I only have one birthday. March, I have four birthdays, but um, I don't know. What do people normally use this page for? Like, if, can you give me ideas? Like, leave them in the comments below. Because I'm honestly just kind of struggling with this page over here. And this is what my February looks like already. I've got a few, like, sticky notes down to help me pre-plan. I don't know my husband's work schedule yet. That'll be probably the middle of January before we figure that out. And then here's March. I love this divider. Stripes are my favorite color. 100% agree. And I think I might have to frame this divider when I'm done with it. So here's my planning for March. So pretty much the same. So here's, so I have um, dashboards that I made myself using, here, I'll show you the back of one. It's just different pieces of cardstock and I put pictures of my family on the front with some die cuts and stuff. That's why I'm not showing the front. But I use these as kind of like dividers in between my different planners. So like that. And so then I can see pictures of my family. I'm just not comfortable with showing them on social media, especially my son. Um, so I just... Yeah, but I also have these that I made myself, and I love having them in between the sections of my planner. So the next section, I just have some half sheets of grid paper. These are just for some notes. It doesn't really go in one section or the other. They're just kind of there to have just in case I need some note paper. So the next section is my social media section, and I'm using the Homebody Dashboard um, Planner for this. I saw Heather Kell set hers up for 2020, and I was like, that is such a good idea. So I went out and bought one. And I am loving, loving the idea of having like more of a put-together YouTube, Instagram, like, be a little bit more polished and a little bit more consistent with my social media posting. So here is the cover page of this layout and then here is the year at a glance and I love the font of this. It reminds me of like a typewriter. I don't know. And then we have the year at a glance and I think this will be for like videos just so that I can um, kind of get a feel of like how many videos stuff like that and I think I will end up using stickers like the Planner Kate um, skinny appointment labels will fit perfectly in those spaces so I'm super excited to like be a little bit more intentional with my um, filming and this will help me especially with like videos that come up like once every three months like um, checking with my goals stuff like that that'll help schedule things so that I don't feel so overwhelmed. And then here, I also took another page from Heather Kell. I'll leave her channel and everything linked down below, but she just has a lot of really good ideas for like happy planning and stuff. 
but she um, created these um, like Instagram feed things, I don't <laughs> plans, I guess. Um, and so this is how they post. And so when you look at your feed, it goes, so this is the oldest of the newest. And I just thought that this was a really good idea because then I can make sure that I have, you know, I can, at the beginning of the week, I can take all of these pictures and then be able to post things every day. That is my goal for at least January is to post to Instagram once a, once a day. We'll see. That was my goal in November and that was my goal in December and those goals have not happened yet. So I would just love a more consistent posting. And I think this will help. Um, I think the reason that I was struggling so much was because um, I wasn't in love with my Erin Condren anymore um, in 2019 and so it was really difficult lugging my Erin Condren around all the time when I really wasn't in love with it and trying to take pictures of it, it was just not, it was just not a good fit anymore. So I'm hoping that this will help. Um, but so here's the Instagram thing for January and then February, I've already got it kind of laid out a little bit. And then here we get into the meat and potatoes. So here's my content schedule. I mean, plan with these every Monday, random videos, what Thursday and Saturdays. And then here is the weekly. So I have a dashboard from the Glam Girl dashboard set. And this one is the one with the makeup brushes and it's gold foiled. And it's it's just beautiful. Anything that's gold foiled is beautiful. But I'm going to pop this out quick. And so here's what the dashboard layout looks like. So it's got the dashboard on one side and then it's got the other parts on the left side. And so I just took some Planner Kate stickers and covered up where it said, I don't even know, to buy, actually, let's go to a different week. That's, so it says to buy Erin's Important and Focus. And so I covered it up to say to film, Instagram, and then this one doesn't have anything. I haven't figured that out yet. But I wanted to put my Instagram posts here as well on the weekly so that once I, you know, took the photos, and actually that might be something that I, like, split out the tasks a little bit more. So, like, I take the photos, I edit the photos, I post the photos. So that would be, like, so at the beginning of the week I can say, oh, I took the photos for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then... On Tuesday, I'm going to edit the photos for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Stuff like that. And then up here in this little box, it's got, it originally said dinners, and I covered it up with some holographic Simply Gilded Washi. And on the day, it also has the days of the week. And I put the videos that are going up that week. So I'm hoping that this will get me a little bit more organized for my social media and I'm hoping to grow my Instagram and my YouTube in 2020. It's, I don't, I, it's a hobby, but it's also really fun to like, you know, talk to other people and just kind of put yourself out there a little bit more. And that's what I would like to do in 2020 with my, um, YouTube channel. Um, so I don't know, you can. I think my planner kind of got eaten when it was being printed, so it's kind of got some rough edges, but it's totally fine. So I will have a plan with me um, setting up the rest of the January situation um, and kind of going through like videos and, you know, um, setting up like my Instagram posts and stuff like that. Um, and that plan with me should be up at the beginning of January. So that is January. And then I've also got February and March in here as well for my homebody dashboard. And so then the next section, I'm going to try to do a little bit more with gratitude in 2020. And so I purchased 
Um, I think they came out in like the summer. I th I want to say like right around August. They came out with the. So I have another dashboard from the Glam Girl dashboard pack here as well. So this is from the notes, the happy notes that came out in August. And this is, I think, the gratitude notebook. And so it's got, you know, the weekly page on one side and then a notes page. But it says five things I'm loving this week, one area I'd like to grow in, little things that give bring me joy, simpler ways I can be kinder to others, and intention for this week. And so then it goes through every day, how I'm the date. How I'm feeling, what empowered me today, how I helped someone today, today's highlight, today's low moment, and daily gratitude. And so, and honestly, if there are different, there's different prompts every day, although it does repeat every, for each week. And so I have a whole month worth of weeks in here and my goal is to fill this out for the month of January I just want to be a little bit more intentional with my with my gratitude and with my my behavior towards others and I know that sounds funny to say it like that but um, just being super cognizant that my behavior impacts others and I want to put forward the best me that I can, and I want to show people the best me that I am. And so I just want to put that out there and make sure that I am being, again, the best me that I can. So the next and final section that I have in this planner is my notes section. And so I have this dashboard. This is from, I think it's from a teacher dashboard pack or a student dashboard pack. I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be teacher, but I just like the stripes and the black and yeah. So I have that and then I have a divider or a like a, yeah, divider from a notes, happy notes notebook. And so then I have my, just some random notes pages and some, so here are my 2020 goals and then the books I want to read in 2020. So I've got a little bit more over on this side. And then I just have some random notes pages, some dotted lined, some regular lined, and then um, I'm going to end up putting some graph paper in here as well. And then the last thing to close out my planner is this folder from the Glam Girl accessory pack. I just loved the kind of watercolory, um, I think this is leopard print, along with the black. Hello, gorgeous. It's just pretty. So got that. And then the last cover is this happy stripe on the inside and the purple dot back and so that is my um my planner for 2020 um i hope to ha make sure to have everything linked down below but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments um and also in the comments please leave me some ideas and inspiration of what you do with this page because honestly i'm struggling I have no idea. Usually it's a currently page in the Happy Planner and they have kind of navigated away from the currently pages. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to use this for. So yeah, leave me some ideas in the description or in the comments. But um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. I try to post every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. And I hope to see you guys in a video again soon. Bye, guys.